We've all heard the saying, knowledge is power. And what better to be knowledgeable about than your health? So, where should you turn for news and information about doctors who can help you live a happier, healthier life? Turn to us for real stories about real doctors helping real people. People like you. Good Saturday morning and welcome to Caring for Arizona, your source for news and information about many of the latest advancements in medical technology and the caring doctors you can turn to for help. You may be surprised to learn that approximately 70% of your body's immune system actually resides in your digestive tract. Thus, maintaining good digestive health is essential to overall well-being. Here is Dr. Martha Grout with some surprisingly simple tips for better digestive health. I think everybody really is well aware that when you're nauseated, that's pretty much all you think about. Okay, you, you really don't do anything else when you're sick to your stomach. Um, the gut and the brain are connected in many different ways, physically by the vagus nerve, but also by neurotransmitters, which are manufactured some in the brain but about 95% in the gut. Serotonin, most of our body's serotonin is made in the gut. And these neurotransmitters are used to send messages all over the body. So if the gut's not working, the messages aren't right, and really nothing else works. Ways to improve our gut health. Well, the first one is really obvious. Eat real food. Don't eat chemicals. So if you can recognize it, if you can pronounce it, that's a good clue, okay? Um, if you can recognize it as something that once grew uh, in the ground or walked on the ground or swam in the ocean, that's always a good clue. Avoiding processed foods is huge, and that is just a no-brainer. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. It's probably not good for you. It's probably chemical. Um, if it comes in a box, be very suspicious of it. That's kind of my rules of, you know, how to go shopping in the grocery store. If it looks like green leaves, even if you've never eaten it, gee, give it a try. It's probably fun. You can stir fry it. Really easy. A little bit of oil in a pan, cut it up, throw it in, stir it around a couple times and eat it and you'll probably like it. Another thing that you can do that can really help your gut is to eat fermented foods. And fermented foods have been used all over the world for thousands of years. Uh, the Mongolians have fermented mare's milk. I've tried that, it wasn't so wonderful, but you know, they love it and it's, got, it's full of probiotics. Uh, the Japanese have natto that is full of really good probiotics that will help to clean out the gut and make it healthier. Um, another way is kombucha. Now we're seeing kombucha a lot in the, in the health food stores these days. It's also possible to make at home. It does amazing things for your GI tract. You know, chronic diarrhea, you won't have it anymore. It's remarkable. Um, it tastes a lot like vinegar. So if you're gonna try kombucha for the first time, you might wanna cut it with water so it's not quite so sour. Um, but it is extremely healthy and full of probiotics. Some patients come to us and are appalled at how simple it may be. Other patients come to us and are shocked at how simple it can be and are extraordinarily grateful because it turns their lives around. All of these factors that I've just talked about um, can help to heal your gut if it's sick and can help to just overall improve the health of the gut. And we all know that when our stomachs are happy, the rest of us is pretty happy too. So it's a good way to go.